welcome once again, one and all. On this edition of Hindsight Miscellanea, we will be reading an excerpt from Game Pro Magazine, dated December of 1995. From page 20, under the cutting edge, an article entitled, Nomad, Sega's On The Road Warrior. The Sega Genesis show hits the road this winter with The Nomad, a new 16-bit portable game system. Well, it's relatively new. The Nomad is a full-fledged Genesis system that will play any Genesis cart. This capability opens up a hefty game library that currently stands at 600 cartridges before Christmas 95. Sorry, 32X and Sega CD fans, the Nomad won't support those Sega systems. So you'll have to continue to ponder the Sega 3DX if you desire portability. It's not the size that counts. Genesis Gaming to Go doesn't come cheap. The Nomad price tag is around $200, but you'll get the real 16-bit stuff for your money. The unit measures a compact 7 and 3 quarter inches long by 4 inches wide and a mere 1 and 5 eighths inches deep. Those dimensions make the Nomad roughly the same size as the 8-bit Game Gear. And even slightly trimmer. Despite the radical reduction in size, the Nomad contains all the silicon necessary to turn and burn any Genesis game. In fact, according to Sega, the operating specs are the same as those for the Genesis, a Motorola 68000 CPU and even a Z80 graphics processor are packed inside. A single controller port is set into the front of the unit for two-player gameplay. The Nomad functions as controller 1. The controller port only supports player 2, so you can't use a standard controller for single-player games. Games for two. Dueling duelists won't have to knock heads trying to view the action on the relatively small Nomad screen during two-player games. The system also supports a Genesis 2-style audio-visual connector for hookups to a regular television. The TV connector is a great idea as another key portability feature that pushes the Nomad above the handheld pack. Not only can you play 16-bit games anywhere, you can also have full-fledged game playing on a regular TV anywhere. Sega has no plans, however, to produce a Nomad TV tuner. Power packed portable. The Nomad packs its own power source, a battery pack that snaps into the back of the unit. Sega says six AA batteries will power up three hours of gameplay. In the works is a rechargeable battery pack called the Nomad Power Pack, which will also hold a three-hour charge. Of course, an optional AC adapter is available as well. Nomad for wandering gamers. At last, no more angst at leaving a hot and heavy game session to make a road trip. The Nomad could very well be a game player's best traveling companion. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Hindsight Miscellanea. I bid you good day and good night. <laughs>